tryna cut that bitch out. That is one sweet, sweet sound right there. Brings back so many memories. What's up everybody, it's your boy Elemental Breakdown I'm back eight months after I said I was gonna try to upload more. Uh, at this point, just don't believe anything I say unless it's reasonable, because that's not reasonable. So anyway, we're here. As you can see, we're going to play some RuneScape, but not the new one. Not this new, totally new MMO RPG thing that they have going on with Guthics and whatever else is happening. I don't know what the new RuneScape is. I played it a few times. Looks nice. Looks real good, but um, I'm going to just hop into this. Let's just hop right in. Now... Before I get into where I've been, which is the same old story as last time, really, really nothing new. We, uh, let, what, what, what is RuneScape? RuneScape is in early 2000s? I'll say it was like 2001-ish. And, uh, it was just this giant online multiplayer game. And it's cool. And then they started doing more and more, and then a few years ago they decided let's turn this into like a World of Warcraft type thing and make it completely new. And then people got upset about, at that. They got real mad at that. So, they made old school RuneScape. <laughs> now on normal RuneScape, before they updated it and changed the stats and redid everything, I think this character was like level 86. Um, pretty sure. But uh, then Old School RuneScape came out. I'm like, yes, I can go back, level 86, start playing just Old School RuneScape. It'll be fun, it'll be great, we'll have a good time. They reset me. I had to go through Tutorial Island. I made a whole video on that, but I couldn't get the audio to link up. And uh, eight months later, I'm level 21. I know it's sad, I know it's not impressive at all, but uh, we're, we're, we're doing our best out here. So let's just start off. Let's just, before I get into the boring mining stuff, let's uh, let's just hop right in here. I'm obviously in Al Karid. And uh, if you don't know where Al Karid is, it's just, uh, what is it? East? East of Lumbridge? The main starting place? Yeah. So I think literally you start like here, where my mouse is. You can see that. I might actually have my mouse cursor turned off. I don't know. So if you can see it, cool. If not, sorry. So yeah, you just head never e yep, east. <laughs> or you can go north and bypass the toll gate. It's only 10 gold coins to get through. Or you can just run all the way up around the farm and through here. And back down and then almost get killed by scorpions. And then you're in the main city and where I'm at here. And, uh, this is obviously the palace, if some of you know, and we're, we're just, we're, we're gonna take down some of these guards, why not? Oh, I forgot all of them don't like you if you do this. I forgot, I am sorry. <laughs> Oops. I haven't played in a while. Honestly, I've only been playing, like, the last three days. And I leveled from level 4 all the way up to this 21, so, uh, no, let's see. Look at my stat these stats. I've been doing a lot of fishing. Some mining. Cooking comes with the fishing sometimes. Not as much as I'd like, but it's there. And then whenever I can, I've just been kind of trying to get my attack art and uh, so I can wear armor and wield new swords and stuff. I don't like mage. I don't like range. I've done none of that. I'm not a fan of any of that. But, uh, yeah. I've been having fun. I'm trying to get my smithing up so we can start making new stuff, start making better stuff than the bronze. Um, I can obviously mine silver. Can't do a whole lot with silver, but iron is in there, and once you hit 15 smithing, you can get 
or you can start making iron. I can already wear black armor. So none of that really helps until I get that up to, I think people only care about rune because then once you can mine her and you can start making rune armor and weapons and stuff like that and then sell them and you're flipping and you're making money and you're doing good things. Obviously I'm not there yet right now, I'm, just, I'm not flipping anything other than fish and that's not too bad. I mean, I mean, I obviously sell the silver ores and uh, the iron ores and stuff that I get right now because I can't do anything with them and I'm too lazy to just go get copper and tin and get my smithing up because I'm, I'm, once I'm ahead of that, I kind of just lose it. That's why I think when I f last played on this account before they reset me, I... All these stats, the, the attack, strength, and defense stats were all out of whack. I think I had a high defense, but none of them were really equal like this. Now I found I found the way. Just do the one that says shared, and it all levels up at the same time, pretty much, and you're all solid. That's honestly a strat right there. But yeah, I haven't done anything on this account really. Haven't done a whole lot um, in general. I haven't done. The cook's assistant. That's the only thing I did there. I remember Demon Slayer. I remember doing all these. But did I ever get to do it? I know Romeo and Juliet's pretty easy. I think there was one. Imp Catcher's easy. Goblin Diplomacy, if I remember, is easy. Ernest the Chicken is confusing, but it's pretty easy. From what I remember, I never did quests in this game. And I know that's how you get XP, and that's a good way to stuff I think or it's stuff to do um but I, I don't remember I mean honestly that's what I should do for this video instead of doing something boring uh pirate's treasure prince ali rescue I think I should level up a little more because I'm 21 and I think the guards over there are like 27 level 27 or something for combat I know I run by them over by Draenor <laughs> And uh, they start attacking me and stuff, so that's not cool. Yeah, because you go over here, and then I th think... I think somewhere around here. I think that's the prison right there. I think that's where you have to go, actually. Yeah, the jail. Yeah, right there. That's where you go. I don't know who you talk to first. I think you talk to somebody here. Um. Oh, yeah, probably this dude. I don't want to start it because I don't think I'm high enough level for that. I know Imp Catcher is super easy. What do we do? Start by ta- or I can start this quest by speaking to Wizard Mizigog, who is in the Wizard Tower. Aren't any requirements? Um, are there any requirements for Prince Ali? I'm already here. Romeo and Juliet. Uh, Romeo and Ver. Uh, you know what? I'm close. Yeah, let's do Romeo and Juliet. I'll do a quest for you guys instead of doing boring mining because I was just gonna level and, and we'll just we'll just uh, we'll just skip editor future me future element. Uh, if you could uh, just uh, you, you know uh, edit all of this out because it's gonna be boring because I have to run to Farrakh now. But uh, yeah, just edit this out. I will see you guys when we get there. Deuces. Oh, there's a mission there. Quest? It's not that. Oh, uh, that's Ollie. Never mind. I think you probably have to come back and grab or search out of those crates or something. Anyway, it, it doesn't matter. We're not doing that one. We're doing this imp catcher. I'm going to drop these mind runes because I don't use them. And I'll see you guys when I get to Romeo. Romeo, Romeo, let down your hair. A few moments later. What's up? And we are here in Varrock, and we are about to go find Mr. Romeo. Romeo, let down your hair. I think it said he was in the middle near the fountain. I think is where they said it, he was. Is should be, might be. Who knows? I believe that's him, Mr. Romeo. 
Romeo. If you guys remember Little Romeo, but he was he was he was pretty cool for a while. Yeah, yeah. So to him, look, it's young Romy, looking for a homie, a little Juliet. When it's sick, she can sew me. When I'm all lonely, knows how to hold me. A little tight show, yeah. Know what I mean? Back when it during that uh, little, little little Bow Wow, Bow Wow days, before Bow Wow was in a Fast and Furious movie. Maybe it was during. Is he still making music back then? Anyway, what is to become of me and my darling Juliet? I cannot find her anywhere. Have you seen her? I'm gonna say no. I know. I think I know where she is, but uh, we're actually, well, let's do. Perhaps I could help you. Perhaps I can help you find her. For or perhaps I can help find her for you. What does she look like? Oh, would you? That would be great. She is. She has this sort of hair. Hair. Check. And these great, and and she these, and, and she these, great lips, lips, right? Oh, and she has these lovely shoulders as well. Shoulders, right? So she has hair, lips, and shoulders. That should cut it down a bit. Oh yes, Julia is very different. Please tell her that she is the love of my long, and that I life to be with her. Dude, Romeo, you need to stop talking weird, dude. Surely you mean that she is the love of your life and that you long to be with her. Yeah, thank you. At least I make sense. Oh, yeah. What you said. Tell her that. That sounds much better. Oh, you're so good at this. Yes, okay. I'll let her know. Okay, and tell her that I want to kiss her a give. Romeo, where are you from, bro? Weren't you Leonardo DiCaprio, dude? Like, seriously. You mean you want to give her a kiss? Oh, you're good. You are good. I see I picked a true professional. Uh, wh where can I find her? I think I know where, but let's see. Where can I find her? Why do you ask? So that I can try to find her for you. Ah, yes, quite right. Hmm, let me think now. She might still be locked away in her father's house on the east... On the... the that's a cess side of the rock. Oh, I remember how she loved it when I would sing up to her balcony. She would reward me with her own personal items. What, she gave you her st she gave you her stuff? Well, not exactly give, more like throw, with considerable force. She's always a kidder, that Juliet. Um, I'm just gonna say thanks, because I'm pretty sure I know where she is. Let me say, okay, thanks, literally, Romeo. All you have to do is walk down the road here, and we're gonna run down the road. Don't have much run. That run from Alcarid to Farrakh was long. I don't understand why people like the uh, the mage stat, because then you can just teleport around and do whatever. It doesn't matter at all. But I don't have that, so we're going to walk around. Uh, Strowl, I think she's upstairs. Philippa. Uh oh, this might be the wrong house. Wait, no, she's on the balcony. Lil. Can I go out there? Oh, I can. I can just chill out and talk to Juliet. Juliet, I come from Romeo. He begs me to tell you he cares still. Oh, how my heart soars to hear this news. Please take this message to him. Well, I hope he... It's great. Good news. Was quite upset when I left him. He's quite often upset the poor sensitive soul, but I don't think he's going to take this news very well. However, all is not lost. Everything is explained in the letter. Would you like... Would you be so kind and deliver it to him, please? Certainly, I'll do that straight away. Many thanks. Oh, I'm so very grateful. You may be our only hope. Now, I remember... I would get that. I think one time when I was playing this game, I got this letter and I never went back to Romeo. Ever. Never saw him again. I just had this heart letter in there. I stole his letter and just left. But this time... We're going to take it back to him and see what we can do here. Gypsy. Gypsy Eris. Romeo, Romeo, what up, dude? Romeo, great news. I've been in touch with Juliet. She's written a message for you. I hand him the note. Oh, a message, a message. I've never had a message before. Really? No, no, not one. Wow, Romeo, you're really getting me down, dude. Oh, except for the occasional court summons. Oh, well, damn, dude. But they're not... 
but they're not really nice messages. Not like this one. I'm sure this message will be lovely. Well, are you going to open it or not? Oh, yes, yes, of course. Dearest Romeo, I'm very pleased you sent 0000611 to look for me and to tell me that you still hold affection. Aff affliction? 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 She thinks I'm deceit. What? Affection? I oh, yeah, still hold affection for me. I still feel great affection for you, but unfortunately my father opposes our marriage. Oh dear, that doesn't sound too good. What great affection for you. Father opposes our marriage and will will kill you if he sees you again. I have to be honest, it's not getting any better. <laughs> our only hope is Father Lawrence, our longtime confident, can send help can help us whatever. Romeo folds the message away. Well then Well that's it then. We haven't got a chance. What about Father Lawrence? Our love is over, our great romance life of my love. Or you can speak to Father Lawrence. Lawrence. Oh, my aching, breaking heart, how useless the situation is now. We have no one to turn to. Father Lawrence. Father Lawrence? Oh, yes, Father Lawrence. He's our longtime confidant. He might have a solution. Yes, yes, you have to go to speak to talk to Father Lawrence for us. Ask him if he's got any suggestion for our predicament. Where can I find him? Father Lawrence, oh, he's, you know, he's not my real father, don't you? I think I suspect that he wasn't. Well, anyway, he tells these long, these, well, anyway, he tells these song-loring Burmans and keeps these here, Karakian, Romeo, bro. Vidison snoring in his church to the east and north. I'm just gonna say, okay, thanks, and I'm gonna be on my way. So, never eat. 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 eat no, I can't. He's got me messed up now. Oh, I know where that is. I think. Father Lawrence should be over here, yes? been down this road in a while. It should be in here. Or is this the museum? Uh, that's a museum. Do I, I think I keep going. I think he's up a little further. There are a bunch of people like snoring in his church. It's funny. Yeah, yeah, you'll see. Apparently, is that my house? Because he keeps telling me stuff about a house and I don't know what they're talking about, but then I think he's gonna have a house. Is that mine? I don't know. We're doing this right now. Where is this dude? What's up, homie? And let Saradomin light, light the way for you. Erg. Can't you see that I'm in the middle of a sermon? But Romeo sent me. But I'm busy delivering a sermon to my congregation. Everybody's asleep. Sounds about right. Yes, well, it certainly seems like you have a captive audience. Love. I got I just roasted you boy. You monk head looking dude. I like that emblem though. Okay, so what do you want? Can it, <laughs> so I can get rid of you and continue with my sermon. Romeo sent me he says you may be able to help. Ah Romeo, yes, a fine lad, but a little bit confused. Yes, very confused. Anyway, Romeo wishes to be married to Juliet. She must be rescued from her father's control. I agree, and I think I have an idea. A potion to make her appear dead. Dead sounds a bit creepy to me, but please continue. This potion will only make Juliet appear dead, and then she'll be taken to the crypt. Crypt, again, very creepy. You must have some strange hobbies. Then Romeo can collect her from the crypt, go to the apothecary, tell him I sent you, and that you'll need a cadaver potion. Apart from the strong overtones of death, this is turning out to be a real love story. Okay. Uh, Romeo and Juliet need to find the apothecary. I don't know, is it? Is the apothecary... Okay, that only goes up. Oh, I don't remember where the apothecary is, bruh. Do I keep going up? Is it up? It'd be cool if it was just chilling up here. You got wine balls, you got book. Dude, Father Lawrence will be partying up in this room. Oh, it still goes up. Chill. Oh, that's just the roof. 
Okay, boy, I might need to do some research here because I don't know where the apothecary is or where it would be. Do I have to go talk to Romeo? No, it said just find the apothecary. Now, is the apothecary. Is that the thing? There's like a manhole over here, I thought, that was weird. Ah, uh, remember. I know, I need to get it. Where is it, dude? Fool. Okay, hang on. Pause. We're gonna take a second. We're gonna go. We're gonna do this Google. Because I, I don't know. And we're gonna go RuneScape, Apoth. Apoth. Apothecary. Boom. Ah, the apothecary is the potion place. That makes sense. See, I, I'm not a smart man. I don't know what an apothecary is. He should have just told me go to the potion, please. You go know, to the dude that makes the potions, and I should have put two and two together to begin with, but I didn't. But uh, we, we're, we're, we're chilling. You know, Google's a thing. I'm pretty sure I also did this mission again on a different account, and I did the same thing. I think I got this far and just stopped, because I have no clue what an apothecary was. And I wasn't smart enough to Google it. Now, if he would have told me, hey, if you go south, the west, in Varrock, find the apothecary, boom, I would have looked in the southwest. I think he's over here somewhere. Let's see. Am I headed the right way? Probably not. Oh, no, I am. I kind of am. Yeah, there he is. Pow. B -b -b boom Found him. Hopefully I don't have to pay this dude. So I don't know what I get in return. Said I never did missions or quests. I'm oh, sorry. These are all quests in RuneScape. I never did quests. What's up, Bob Ross looking dude? I am the apothecary. I brew potions. Do you need anything specific? Can you make potions for me? Uh, no, I don't want that, dude. I need to. I need. Bruh. Talk about something else. Tell about Romeo and Juliet. Apothecary, Father Lawrence sent me. I need Cadaver Potion. That potion is pretty nasty and hard to make. Wing of Rat, Tail of Frog, Ear of Snake, and Horn of Dog. I have all that, but I need Cadaver Berries. <laughs> You'll have to find them while I get the res ready. Bring them here. Be careful, they are nasty. Where can I get them? I think I saw some recently in the local vicinity. Oh yes, that's right. There's a little bit of a commotion when some kids visit southeastern Varrock mining pit. Trip was disrupted because some kids have found some cadaver berry bushes and they start picking them. They wrapped that trip up pretty quickly. That's all I need. We'll go over there. Worst case scenario, we have a grand exchange. Uh, so we have to go this way. I'm gonna run as much as I can. Let's get through this because we're doing this. I am kind of on a time crunch. Not really, but I wanna spend all my time doing this. Did you say southeast? Cut through here. It's dangerous through here. It's wizards, you can be a little, a little nasty. Yep, there he goes. Oh no! Stop! 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 No, please, don't. No. Cut off a bush. There we go. Ta da! Oh, I have to run back. He hit me for twelve. Oh my god, we're going the long way. I don't know how many he needs, so I'm just gonna pick a bunch and hope it's good. You know what, just for the shits and the giggles, since there's a unicorn here, I'm gonna... I only have 10 health, never mind. I have half my health. Since there's a giant rat here, we're gonna just uh, stop and murder it real quick. A little, little break here. Mm, yeah, it. Mm, I want that meat. 
back on our way, out of run. We're just gonna walk. If I had something better to defend against magic, I would have uh, ran back the other way, but armor, as everybody knows, is not good at all against magic. Armor, I think, is best uh, against, obviously, other armor, or against swords, melee weapons, stuff like that, and I think... Is it good against rain, like, like, archery? I might be very wrong about that one, I don't know. I know it's terrible against magic, I don't think it's very good against archery. But then I think maybe it's better against archery than mage stuff. So who knows? I might be wrong. Let me know if I'm wrong. If any of you really want to click Google it, if you don't know, tell me I'm wrong. Please tell me I'm wrong, because uh, I like to know stuff, I guess, here and there. So until I get back to him, which should be here in a second, I'm just going to skip. Okay, we're back here at my dude, the Apothecary. He doesn't have a name, apparently, just Apothecary. But I'm going to call him Bob Ross, because he's, he's got a little bit of a Bob Ross type thing going on. Oh, look, he has a... Look at the periodic table back there. I don't think that's right, but it's, it's there. How about something else? Talk about Romeo and Juliet. I hand over my berries. And he just gives me a vial of this death liquid. View, here's what you need, okay. Okay, I did that. Now I need to... Go to Juliet. Which we're just gonna go this way and we're gonna run when we can. We're gonna go run, run, run. A fun, fun, fun. And we're just gonna bust through her house again. Just, Yo, what's up, Pops? And we're just gonna go through this door. Just, I don't know who Philippa is, but, you know, I like her dress, she's kind of cute. Um, Hi Julia, I have an interesting proposition for you, suggested by Father Lawrence. It might be the only way to help you escape from this house and be with Romeo. Go on. I have a Kadava potion here, suggested by Father Lawrence. If you drink it, it will make you appear dead. Yes. And when you appear dead, you're still in lifeless corpse when we move to the crypt. Ooh, a cold, dark, creepy crypt. Sounds just peachy. Then Romeo can steal you in or steal into the crypt and rescue you just as you wake up. And this is the great idea for me getting out of here. To be fair, I can't take all the credit. In fact, it was all Father Lawrence's suggestion. Okay, if this is the best we can do, hand over the potion. I'm passing it to her. Wonderful, I just hope Romeo can remember to get me from the crypt. Please go to Romeo and make sure he understands, although I love his Gormless, lovelorn, soppy ways. He can be a bit of dense sometimes, and I don't want to wake up in that crypt on my own. Before I swig this potion down, let me stand on the balcony so I might see the sun one last time before I committed to the crypt. You're gonna come out, right? Why am I chilling with her? Oh, here's Philippa, my cousin. She's in on the plot, too. She's gonna make it seem even more convincing. Oh, so you got a cousin, okay. Well, if, if, if you're taking Romeo, what's the deal with her? <laughs> you know? so yes, I'm quite the actress. Uh, good luck, dear cousin. Alright, bottoms up. Irk. Oh no, Juliet has died. You might be more believable if you're not smiling when you say it. Oh yeah, you might be right. Okay, let's try again. Oh no, Juliet has died? Perhaps a bit louder, like you're upset that your cousin has died. Right, yes, okay, okay, I think I'm getting my motivation down. Okay, let's try this again. Oh no! Juliet has died? Oh! Sob. Sob, Juliet! My poor dead cousin! What's all that screaming? What's up, Pops? Oh no, my poor daughter, what's become of you? Poor Juliet, make preparations for her body to be placed in the crypt. Oh, I, okay, I'll just do that before I talk to Romeo. I feel like I should talk to Romeo before y'all did all this. Like, 
and you're just chilling. Like, shouldn't you be, like, mourning your daughter or something? Oh, I can cook in your house, too? That's good to know. Alright, Romeo. I gotta lay you with some truths. Your girlfriend did. Not really, though. She'll come back alive. Sometime. Oh. What's up, my dude? Your roommate saw that Julia has drunk the potion and been taken to, uh, down to the crypt. Now you just need to pop along and collect her. I read the potion. Great. What potion would that be, then? The Kadava potion. You know, the one which will make her appear dead. She's in crypt. Pop along and claim your true love. I'm scared. Will you come with me? Oh, okay. Come on. I think I saw the entrance when I visited last. Walk to the... This is pretty scary. Oh, be quiet. I hope we don't have to kill anything. If I have to kill Dracula, I'm going to be upset. We're here. Look, Juliet is over there. Oh, okay. I thought she was, like, already in the tomb. I'm like, uh... That's kind of creepy. Uh, you go over to her, and I'll wait over here. Oh, okay, then. I'm just going to pop up, turn into Dracula, and be like, Yo! What's up, dude? I want to suck your blood. What's up, Philippa? Hey, Juliet. Juliet? Oh dear, you seem to be dead. <laughs> Hi, Julia. I'm Philippa. Wow, you're a fox. <laughs> it's a shame about Julia. Perhaps we can meet later. Oh no, Philippa. What? Who's Julia? Oh. Well. There we go. I got five quest points. <laughs> alright, I don't know what that means. You just get quest points? Is that really all you get? That's lame. Can I talk to Romeo now? I heard Julia has <laughs> died. Your cousin and I are getting on well, though. Thanks for your help. Okay. Sure. I don't. That's not how the real story went. Uh, all right. Um, does her fault? Oh, this is just a whole situation. Because if Juliet couldn't date him, then why would a cousin? I guess it's not her. Juliet's father making the choices on her cousin. So was Juliet still just down in the crypt? Is she like actually dead? Was that just a plot to kill Juliet so Romeo can get with the cousin? Or just so the cousin can get with Juliet? Oh, I have so many questions now, bro. Oh, man. Well, anyway, if you guys want to see me do another quest, let me know. That was actually pretty cool. It's actually something to do in this other than have you guys watch me kill scorpions or mine for a while. I don't even know how long this video is. Probably at least like 20 minutes. So I'm sorry for the length if it was too long. I did my best. I went quickie, quick, quick, quicky do. And uh, I'll try to cut out some boring parts when I can. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Um, I didn't get into where I've been, but it's the same story as last time. I haven't been anywhere. I just haven't been making anything. And last time I tried making something, I couldn't line up the audio, so I quit for months. It upset me. So I'm hoping I can line up audio here. I hope you guys have a wonderful evening, morning. It's 2.36 a.m. right now as I'm recording. And uh, so I hope you guys have a great day. Have a wonderful tomorrow. Peace. One more, one more.